At lunch today, I was reminded once again about God's supply. <laughs> uh, we were sitting on an outside patio of a sandwich shop, and uh, in the outdoors, we had uh, lots of greenery around us, but we also had some little sparrows. I think at one point I counted about 15. Now, they weren't dumb. They knew that a good place to hang out was by the sandwich shop, uh, because most people will have enough pity to share a crumb or two of their bread sandwich uh, with those sparrows. I looked around for a few minutes and I tried to find one that looked like he was leaner than the others, that maybe he wasn't as fast and didn't get as much bread, but you know, it was hard to find a skinny sparrow there on that sandwich shop patio. In just a few minutes, Lois and I were finishing up our sandwiches and we still had some crust and uh, we even had an extra piece of bread that came with a soup and a sandwich, and uh, we decided we would feed some of the sparrows. That's when I remembered uh, Matthew chapter 6, talking about God's supply. <laughs> that very morning I had been looking through the Ace Hardware flyer and found that uh, birdseed was on sale again. And if you bought a regular bag of birdseed, you could get the gourmet birdseed bag uh, for half price. God supplies 15 sparrows getting all that they needed. The little tiny pieces of bread for us were pieces that were almost too big for them to carry. Uh, the 10 pounds of bird seed on sale at Ace Hardware came with a 7 pound gourmet bag. Just think about it. If God cares to make sure that his sparrows and his birds are fed so well. How much more does he care for us? Why do we worry? Why do we fret about what we wear or what we're going to eat? When we know our Heavenly Father will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. In the bag that we carried home, the food that we didn't eat, there was enough to supply food for those 15 sparrows for the next year. An abundance. That's like God's supply. It's an abundance. Uh, will it always be filet mignon, lobster? No, of course not. But you know, I don't know very many people in the United States that are going hungry. And if they are, it's probably because people around them don't know their need. Because God uses us as instruments to supply the needs of people. Today on the television they were taking down donations for those in Houston. In just a short few minutes uh, over the television in the local Greenville area, more than $100,000 were raised to help those victims of this terrible hurricane. What's your thought for the day? Your thought for the day ought to be God's abundance and his ability to supply our needs, not necessarily our wants, but our needs according to his riches and glory. That doesn't mean we should be bad stewards and that we should want more than what we need or that we should spend beyond our means but it does mean that we should never fret about having enough to eat or God supplying what our basic needs are. And I hope that today as you think about your thought for the day that you'll remember those people in Houston and the surrounding communities uh, who are really struggling right now. It may be a temporary struggle but nevertheless it's a really difficult time for them. Homes have been lost, food supplies destroyed, income and jobs perhaps lost. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. He never said it was going to be easy, but he said he'd be with us through it all. Remember to pray for those in Texas. Remember to pray for those hungry around the world. There are some countries where there are some people that apparently are not getting enough to eat. In spite of all of God's efforts through all of the humanitarian efforts, there are people that go to bed hungry. Next time you're a little bit hungry and you 
think about one special morsel that you want of all of the varieties that you have in your pantry, your freezer, and your refrigerator. Remember, there are some people that are not even getting their basic needs. And remember to be generous to organizations that you can check out that really do meet needs and don't spend it all on fundraising and on administrative help. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day. Remember the sparrows of the air. They don't sow it, they don't toil, and they don't sow. And yet they have all that they can eat. God bless you and have a great day.